It has taken more than two decades to get to this point. Golf and fitness is what I do. It's a big part of who I am. And over that time, I have achieved things that I would never have dreamed I could achieve. But I've failed far, far more than that. And in that time, one of the things that I can do best is to help and inspire progress in others. But I need to do that for myself, and if I do, I can inspire even more golfers around the world to make progress, to choose health, to choose fitness, and to really experience all that they can be. For the past year or two, that has led to a real focus on business. But I got lost. Lost in the day to day of trying to be successful, of trying to create a platform that works, and instead, I want to be focusing on who I am and who I am to you. And I want that to be somebody who inspires, who helps you to believe that you can achieve everything that you want to achieve because I believe that I can do so as well. So from now, we work harder than ever. Yes, on the business, but more so on golf fitness as a whole. Showing what's possible, showing you how to get it done, and showing you that believing in yourself is as big, if not the biggest factor in how much progress you will make. The mission remains the same, to inspire health and fitness through and for golf. And I need to inspire myself within that to achieve what I know I can achieve. Because over that time, although I have achieved an awful lot that surprises myself, I know that I haven't even got past 20% of my capabilities. I play with fear, I play with massive anxiety, I doubt myself in all situations, but still I am called to continue and to work harder. And in this time, I want to show you that no matter the circumstance, no matter how big the goal, if you believe in it, if you truly know that you can do it, no matter how far away it feels, you can work and you can get there. I want to win a professional tournament. I've failed every single time. I've had anxiety. I have absolutely blown up on the course. But I know that I've never got even close to bringing the game I know I can bring. So whether it's a small one day event with 20 players or whether it's the Open, I will win a professional event. All right, welcome to Driven Studios. You probably see this on the content. It's a relatively small studio. Yesterday we we're in a gym, so that is a CrossFit facility. So that's a different business, okay? But here we tend to do all of our filming. You can see the wall right there. And this is where a lot of the work goes in. All right, so today I'm getting back to training. It is a new cycle. I train in the daily hybrid program and my training has changed an awful lot over time, all right? I wanna talk through that today, kind of give you more understanding where we are with Driven and really give you an insight into what I'm trying to do, all right? So I'm gonna start out with some landmine work. We've got lateral lunges, split stance rotations. Let's get to work. That's definitely one of the things that I really want to show more of in this type of video and moving forwards is how my programming, how my own training has changed significantly since we started this out six years ago, okay? So it was golf word. If you haven't known already, we changed the driven this year. Driven was always a part of it though, uh, and the change really made a lot of sense. So golf, work, golf workout of the day, I started out very CrossFit oriented, so high intensity, lots of hinging, lots of weight lifting, and it was good, but it does weigh down as well. So I think that combined with the golf side has seen just an incredible change over time, right? So the hybrid program is very unique, there's lots of cool movements like the landmine, like different rotational elements and power elements that you're gonna see, all right? So, and also understanding from all of you and golfers around the world, what you want to see, how you like to train has completely shifted how we started out. So um, I'm a PGA professional, I'm a strength coach, I'm a gym owner, and through helping literally thousands of people, been able to create a really different way of training at this point, all right? So it's the most effective way to train for your game. And also remember that Yes, we look at golf fitness, we know that you're a golfer, but the, the most important thing is your health and your fitness, all right? So we want our workouts to really deliver incredible levels of health and fitness, 
and I really want to be at the front of that, alright? So I've got a lot to work on, I've got a lot of things I want to achieve over this kind of coming off season and into next year. And that's going to be built in the gym and then really worked on on the course, alright? So I'm moving on now, it's box squats, say we're at the start of a new cycle, that's how the programs really work. So we're heading towards the off season, we're in the off season, the rest of this year, so 12 week period now we look at strength and stability, okay? So higher volume, higher structure, less intensity, and we look at adaptation, all right? So it is the best time to change your body because once we have that adaptation, we get into the new year, then we start to put it into your golf performance, all right? So we're talking more power, more rotation, more speed, and as we get close to the season, the weights go down, the intensity goes up, and you're just gonna be absolutely flying when you hit the cars, all right? That's my plan, I'm gonna tell you more about it. So the squat's working through a three by 10 today, seven to eight RPE, so way down on the percentage, all right? So it is the time to rebuild that foundation and we're gonna progress that all the way through the off season into that performance that we talked about, all right? And in terms of my own training, my body, my golf and my goals, as I said in a little intro there, I want to win a professional event, okay? So skill-wise, in terms of the shots that I can hit, I'm as good as anybody. If I actually play in the game, I can be as bad as anybody, all right? Like I did open qualifying this year. Terrible kind of mistake was that was the only tournament this year. No prep, no under pressure elements. And that's exactly what it was like. I hit one shot where I actually felt confident of the shot. And that was good. I hit a green from about 220 with a seven iron high cut. Beautiful. Every other shot, massive anxiety, massive fear and that's not an easy way to play golf, all right? So I really need to build the foundation in terms of believing where I'm gonna get to, but then also being way more focused in my training and in my practice, all right? So in terms of goals in the gym, I wanna be injury free and I wanna get stronger legs to use them better in my golf swing. That might sound a little surprising given that everyone talks about how much my, I jump out of the ground during the swing, but I want to be able to load and affect the ground far more efficiently, all right? So right now there's a lot of force. I want to be able to bottle that up and build consistency, all right? Build some checkpoints into the swing. We're going to head to the course in a little while and film anyway. So definitely that area. And then the injury side, just little niggles, little imbalances here and there over time. That's why I now see trap bar, box squats, lots of different elements where you take pressure off the spine. That is the way that I'm going to be going, all right? So like you said, the, the transfer of these programs into the swing is huge. I want to show that more than ever, right? Because I, I, have, I have issues with training as well in that I'm probably the other way from a lot of people. I can't not train, which is sometimes just as negative. I'm so obsessed, maybe it's not the right word, but I'm so ingrained into that pattern of I train every day. I do this, I do that. I want to see what that is actually capable of if done in the right way all right so this is more kind of personal series you're going to see more videos in between today we have the intro we're going to be in the gym we're going to head to the car soon and these videos down the line i'd love to hear your feedback on what you'd like to see and how you want me to put these across there will be workouts there'll be days on the course there'll be scoring elements practice elements speed elements just working on it all guys all right so trying to piece it together get the time right whilst i'm training whilst we're building the app the business and everything else, all right? But I appreciate you being with us on this journey. I'm gonna finish out these squats. So a huge part of what separates us now is the understanding of progressive overload, golf specifics, and then the functional elements already taste to the next level. Things like the power jerk, which I'm getting into next. We're not going full workout today. We're just getting in some elements to give you that feel and really just catch up on where I'm at, okay? So the power jerk with the dumbbell is huge because you generate force through the whole body. You power your legs against the ground, transfer through the core, and then lock out overhead, okay? The benefits of that for your golf swing are huge, okay? So when you get the right structure in your program to build strength in the shoulders through cables, barbell, dumbbell, machines, and then add in these explosive elements, you're gonna go to a whole new level, all right? So from there, we're gonna to head to the course. It's a Monday evening. I've been working, filming all day long. It's probably get about 90 minutes on the course. It's probably my favorite time on the course, all right? So it's you, quiet, swing, just hitting shots, taking divots, and loving every minute of it, all right? So I'm gonna leave you some intensity right now. We're hitting those intervals to finish. Then you'll see me at the course.
All right, join me on the course. It's probably my favorite time on the course, to be honest, all right? So, I mean, I'm busy. I, I'm up early, I'm training, I'm working all hours, trying to build the business, other business. But I do get to the course as often as I can. So uh, much of the content that you see is actually these little kind of five hole loops. I get out, hour and a half, two hours, hit a bunch of shots and just kind of fall into the process. All right, and remarkably, after training and working as I have, smoked one off the first tee right there. So hopefully in time, competing be can become a little bit more of my favorite element. But right now, getting out on a quiet night like this, just hitting shots, just trying to flush it, take some divots, get some nice chip shots and putts. This is the way, all right? So I'm gonna play a few holes. I'll talk you through some shots, see if we can make some numbers. We'll just give you a feel for the swing. And hopefully this video is kind of coming together and we, uh, we get a bit of consistency going forward so you can see more about this and the training and, and everything else, all right? But smoked off the first, so probably just a pitching wedge in. Let's go ahead, dead. All right, so we piped that one. Belly over 100 yards left. Just gonna hit a three quarter, 56. Drill it in there, compress, and just put it next to the stick. Hopefully, a little brighter down here as well, so you might see what's going on. But here, the feel really is just all about the strike, turning to the target, and just maintaining that rotation. A little right, but if it hangs on, get up. Pretty good. Okay, so as we said, about 18, 20 feet. Greens are starting to look a little wintry, but we're gonna give it a run, okay? So, nice evening out here right now. There's not a lot in that pot, probably just a little bit of piss. Right on that left edge, see if we can make a birdie on this first video. Just on the high side. Nice evening though right now. We've got par three and a par five coming up. We're gonna talk through the shots. Let's go. Okay, par three, second hole. It's playing about 142 right now. Flag's in the middle of the green. It's soft, there's no wind. This is just a green light, go for it, okay? So, 46 degree, just a smooth three quarter, a little bit of a knockdown, hold the face, and hit it in there tight. and just flare it out right. Sorry, I did see that run. Just thinking about that, but. Little kick, probably hit the green, not good. Open. So, just took a little too much off that wedge, left it right, but now we got put downhill. Again, greens are pretty slow right now, so not a lot of turn. Just try and give it a run. Add some speed to it and see if we can just uh, drain one. Drop some putt specs after this as well because this might not go in. A little aggressive on these furry greens. So without doubt, one of the biggest shots of this year has been switching to that fade off the tee, all right, all the way through the bag, but definitely with the driver. I used to be super stacked, club on the inside, and hit a big rasping draw. When it was good, it was good, but we were way down on percentage, all right? So I've probably doubled my fairways hit percentage with the fade, and it's pretty simple. I am way left, make sure that the face and the shoulders are on my target, feet are a little bit open, and then I turn as hard as possible, all right? The bad one, is when I lift the arms more than turn the body, and then the club really can't create the right impact. And I can hit it kind of left, or slice it a little bit more. But if I aim left, right now it's on that tree line on the highest point. If I swing hard, I've got my club set, I've got my body set to just fade it off that tree line, hit it out the middle, really nice flight, and actually hit some fairways, all right? So let's see what we can do right here. The one that I don't like is the one that just stays left. So right now, high point of that tree, I line up to there, know that I'm aiming left, and then hit it hard. <laughs> a 
pretty good. Just cut up a little bit more than we needed to. But that start line makes such a huge difference, right? As long as we get it going on that left side, opens up the course, takes one side out, right? It's made a huge difference, power fits. For any of you who are still on at this point, I know it's been a little bit of a uh, kind of all around video, I'm trying to get used to the more personal side, like I said, so hopefully these videos will improve as we go forwards, but looping back around to what we said at the start, like I know that I can go and do something one of my main motivations is to help others believe that they can do something as well because that's made a huge impact on me in terms of the stories that you read, the people that you see and interact with and that honestly has held me, along with my faith, it's held me into this game, to the business and to everything because it's been incredibly hard to carry on, honestly, um, trying to build a business feeling as much have done on the course and the absolute devastation that that kind of leads sometimes because it does feel like it means so much more to you than maybe it could maybe it should but it does all right so yeah I'm gonna be out here doing the work I've been doing the work for a long time but now I just intend to show it and I hope that some of you come on the journey with me it'd be awesome that so many of you have already but we're gonna do something all right I'm not out here it's just because I'm out here we're gonna do something, okay? So let me finish out this part five. We're gonna do something. All right, so this definitely turned over more than expected, but it's been a little bit steady so far, a couple of pars. So let's not see if we can do something here. All right, got a bit of a gap, got a good lie. Gonna hit a three iron. Just absolutely rasp it through those two bunkers out in the distance. Try not hit those tier true trees in front. See where it goes after that. Oh my word, cut a little. Didn't see it down. I was absolutely flushed. Thought I was cutting at the front left of the green, but didn't see it down. Let's go find it. So I actually got it all the way up to pin high, which is pretty awesome from where we were. If it had cut, we'd have been talking eagle time, but we're in the bunker. Pretty simple shot, except these bunkers suck, so you're never quite sure on the sand, and it's been raining, should be pretty heavy. So with that case, not gonna get a lot of spin. Just need to carry the fringe, a little bit of height, and just roll it out, right? Stand the bunker shut, if it comes out good. Go. Hmm, that was nice. Almost too good, but let's make a bird before we finish. Okay, so really nothing to it, about eight feet. Not a lot of turn, pretty much just banging in the back, all right? So I like to look at exactly on the target, set the face, back to the target. Stay tall, stay loose. Once the hands are in, it's one final breath. Drilled it, actually. All right, that's nice to see. So. Again, if you have made it all the way through to this point, hugely appreciate you. Make sure you're the first to comment, let us know what you want to see next, what you really want me to go deeper in and just see about what we do, okay? And generally, I appreciate every single one of you who's allowed us to build this business, to impact people the way that we have done, and we're only just getting started, all right, guys? So, hit like, hit subscribe, make sure you got the Driven app if you do not already. This is episode one, you're ready for episode two, and let's golf strong.